Hey guys, how you doing? It's Mr. Fuzzy Lego, and welcome back to another Super Smash Bros. Ultimate minifigure video. And today I bring you some more upgraded Lego customs of the Super Smash Bros. fighters. This time I have number 2, Donkey Kong, number 36, Diddy Kong, number 5, Yoshi, and number 6, Kirby. And I really hope I got those right, because they're really confusing numbers at times. First of all, um, this video comes out late. That's because I had some major computer problems, and I have no idea what just happened. So this video come out, could come out like a few days later, or could come out a few weeks later, and hopefully something gets resolved tonight and I can upload it today, but uh, no promises here. So anyway, let's go ahead and get started with these minifigures. First up, I'm gonna show you Donkey Kong, because he is like the king of the jungle and used to be like really popular in Nintendo games, although he is still, uh, still popular nowadays. He's not as much as he was like in the 90s and stuff. At least, I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. Feel free to yell at me if you want. But anyway, I really like this figure and uh, much different than the other version. Uh, what you can notice definitely about this one is I actually removed all of the like all the color I gave him in the last version because what that did was it really restricted his movement It like I couldn't move his arms or anything So I wanted to make another version or at least remove all the paint so that it was easier for him to be posed And it would just be a lot better of a figure I also repainted the tan on him of course in my own color because it's a lot cleaner than the you know the other colors that I use I also repainted the face so I think that looks really nice this time and I also uh, gave him a brand new tie So that is a brand new sculpted and it looks a lot cleaner than the other version. It even uh, actually is painted all around the, the the body itself, which is unlike what I don't do normally. So that just kind of fits on there. But yeah, that's really it for Donkey Kong. He can move, he can pose. It's uh, much better of a figure, and I'm very happy with it compared to my last version. Next, I'm going to show you Diddy Kong, who just like Donkey Kong got like a really big change and whatnot from the last version, which was made out of an actual Lego monkey. And this was a nice attempt, but it wasn't really my favorite figure. Uh, I was definitely wanted to try and give another shot using a minifigure, so that's what I did this time, and it's actually uh, turned out really nice. Here's the is next to Donkey Kong. He's a little bit small, but uh, it looks better than the monkey piece in my opinion now. So basically, what I did with this figure is I uh, well the head is sculpted this time, so this is uh, the new head that I sculpted. It's uh, it's pretty interesting. Uh, it broke a few times and whatnot. So that is the brand new head, and then here is the hat which I tried to sculpt from scratch, but it just didn't end up working. So I just used a normal Lego hat and sculpted onto it and that's uh, basically how the hat works. The legs are another part that I did, and that's just uh, made with those old Ninjago skeleton legs, I'm pretty sure, and I cut off the, uh, the little bits and I just glued them into the legs, so they're really small, and they can uh, still attach to the Lego. I'm just scared to, because I don't want it to break on camera like it's done before. But yeah, it's pretty simple. I didn't want to use short legs for whatever reason, because I just I wanted to use them for uh, more figures that weren't Diddy Kong. I don't know. Uh, another thing I did was, of course, paint his stars again. That was another attempt that I did, uh, much cleaner than this one, because this one was just painted onto some clay. This was actually onto a solid Lego surface. What in the world was that? There is, like, screaming downstairs. My bad. I even told I wanted to be quiet because I was filming, but whatever. That is, uh, that's Diddy Kong. Not really much else to say. Oh, yeah, besides, uh, I painted Nintendo on his, on his hat. That's something that I did. Uh, I did that. It was pretty difficult. So now I'm going to show you Kirby, who isn't necessarily a Lego figure. He's more or less just like Meta Knight, even my original Kirby, who was just sculpted out of clay. And I originally was going to make a Lego Kirby, and I even, you know, had the idea of using two of these parts, and I was, I built them up. And actually, I still have the reject part. Hopefully the camera doesn't get all messed up because I reached my arm over the light. But I have the reject part here that I was working on, and, uh, yeah, it was like this, and then it went down to the bottom like this, and it made a dome. But it just it didn't look right. You could see all the clay that I put on top of it, and plus this would just break right off. So I didn't want to do that, so I didn't want to risk anything. So I just left it as a normal clay uh, figure, and it looks pretty nice. Still, you know, still clay. I'm really happy with it. It's nice little Kirby. It's much better than the last one, much cleaner as well. It even goes to the back, except I forgot to paint his back of his toes for some reason. Even I really should have done that, because it would have been really easy. But it is sculpted on to just a normal ball that I, I sculpted out of clay and uh, the feet go onto it. So as you can see, there is no Lego components in this. It's literally just a clay figure, but it looks nice overall. I painted a metallic glass. I don't know why I said glass. I meant to say gloss, but it just came out as glass. But I meant to, I painted the, the eyes in a glossy black because just I like the way they shine and whatnot. They're pretty cool, and the mouth is nice. A nice little spinny Kirby, and that's really it for Kirby. He's very simple and just looks a lot better for, uh, than my last version. So here is Yoshi, and I actually was planning to do this a long time ago because my first Yoshi that I made, I think I made him way too dark, or at least too dark of a green, and this ended up just looking a lot better and more like Yoshi because I, I literally, this is the exact same figure, but I gave it a complete repaint in, my, uh, in a new lighter green. That just looks a lot more like Smash Brothers, and it just it looks a lot cleaner. Obviously, the tail is a mess. I should have fixed this. 
Uh, but yeah, it's a very, it's really nothing else to say. I didn't add any details to it. It's literally just the old figure just painted a brand new green, and uh, it looks really nice. Nice little Yoshi. I also painted the eyes a gloss black, just like Kirby. I think a lot of my other new Smash Brothers figures have their eyes painted in the gloss black because it just, I like the way their eyes shine. It's really, it's a nice effect. But that's really it for Yoshi and all these figures because there's nothing really else to talk about. So that's, I think that's actually going to be it for this video. I'm just going to move them over here like usual. And uh, I, I don't know. I should have addressed uh, how many more videos I'm going to end up doing. Well, I could do that tomorrow because if, hopefully if this video does come out today, I can uh, do an update video tomorrow. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm you know, counting my chickens before they hatch. So that's... That's uh, how the hope that happens. Anyway, I'm going to uh, head on out cause so I can do some stuff and hope that my uh, issues have been resolved so that I can get this out. Thanks so much for watching. If you if you yeah, thanks so much for watching. If you have, and I'm gonna head on out. So thanks, guys.